Let's get started. Create a new composition. Go to Composition, New and Create. Rename it to Main. Duration of this comp is 10 seconds and frame per second is 25. Click OK. Now create a new solid and name it to BG. Go to Effects and Presets. And add a ramp effect to the BG layer. Change the ramp shape to radial ramp. Change both colors. Now create a new solid and rename it Particles 1. Click OK. Again go to Effects and Presets. And add a Trap Code Particular effect to the Particle 1 layer. Go to Emitter and change Particles per second to 1000. Emitter type from Point to Sphere. Velocity to 50. Change Emitter Size. Emitter X to 2350. Emitter Y to 1550. Emitter Z to 1950. Now go to Particles Properties. Change Particle Feather to 0. Change Size over Life. Use the preset accordingly. Change Opacity to 70. Opacity Random to 100. Change the Opacity over Life, as same as Size over Life. Use the preset to change it. Now go to Physics Properties and change Physics Time Factor to 0.5. Precompose this particle layer and rename it to Particle 1. Go to Properties window and duplicate the Particle 1 composition and rename it to Particles 2. Double click the Particles 2 comp to open. Go again to Effects panel to change some properties. Change the emitter size X to 2250. Emitter size Y to 750 and emitter size Z to 1500. Change Velocity Random Percentage to 90 Velocity to 70 Velocity from Motion to 60% Again go to Properties window and duplicate the Particle 2 composition and rename it to Particles 3 Double click the Particles 3 comp to open Go again to Effects panel to change some properties Change the Emitter Size X to 12000 Emitter size Y to 3000 and emitter size Z to 5000. Go to particles and change the opacity to 50 and opacity random to 40%. Change sphere feather to 100. Now add a fast blur effect. Change the blurriness to 15 and tick the repeat edge pixels. Go back to property panel and drag both the comp to the timeline. Put Particle 2 below Particle 1 Comp and Particle 3 above Particle 1 Comp Change the mode of all the comps. For Particle 3 it is Overlay, for Particle 1 it is Add and lastly for Particle 2 it is Screen. Now right click in the timeline and add a text layer to it. Add a text according to your need. Align it to the middle of the screen. Precompose this layer and rename it to Title. Open this comp and add a ramp effect to the text layer. Now go back to the timeline and duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D and rename it to Title 1. Now add an invert effect to this comp. Now add a tint effect to this layer and change the black color to silver color. Now add a drop shadow effect to this layer and change the opacity to 85%. Distance to 1 and softness to 15. Select the both tile comps and pre-compose it and rename it to title. Open this comp and add a adjustment layer to this comp. Add a rectangle mask to this layer and then add a mirror effect to it. Change the reflection angle to 90. Change the reflection center accordingly. Change some mask properties as per your need. I'm change mask feather to 80. Mask opacity to 60. And mask expansion to minus 20. Now go to tilty comp dot and add a solid layer and rename it to BG. Add a eclipse mask to this layer and make it bigger than the text. Change mask feather to 135. 
mask expansion to minus 20. Now move the timeline to 2 seconds and click the stopwatch next to mask path, to add a keyframe. Now move the timeline to 0 seconds. And change the shape of eclipse. Now click T to open opacity property. Add a keyframe to it. Change the value to 0. Now move the timeline to 1 seconds and change its value to 100. Change the mat to alpha mat. Select all the particles compositions and move the timeline a little bit. Move the title comp below particle 3 comp. Now scale the tiltle comp. Move the timeline to 0 seconds and add a keyframe. Now move the timeline to 2 seconds and change the value to 60. Make the position change for all the particle composition. Duplicate particle 2 comp and change it position. Now add a black solid layer to it and then add a rectangle mask. Resize the mask and change the mode to subtract. Now add a adjustment layer to this timeline. And rename it to CC add a curve effect to this layer and change its color accordingly. Now add a level effect to this layer and change the colors accordingly. Add a glow effect to this layer. Change the glow threshold to 40. Change the glow radius to 125. Glow intensity to 0.5. That it spoke for learning. We will meet in the next tutorial. If you like my tutorial, Please like and if you are new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe.